Well, hi. It's Mr. Squeegee. Welcome to another episode of Whether or Not, brought to you by windowcleaningresource.com. Today, as I'm cleaning some windows, it's a, a little chilly out as usual for our segment. But uh, I want to talk to you briefly about layering your clothing. <clears throat> some guys might think, well, if you're working in the cold, why don't I just go ahead and get myself a pair of uh, big coveralls? Well, while those would probably keep you warm, they might cause you more problems. One of the biggest things we have to uh, think about is we're going to be working, and even though it's cold, we may begin to sweat. What we want to do is try to avoid sweating heavily in this kind of temperature because then as we cool down, that can actually help to decrease our body temperature. And as we've already discussed, that could lead to hypothermia and bad things. Uh, so really what we want to do is layer our clothing. That also provides us with the opportunity that when we go inside to work on a job, we can take a few layers off and stay comfortable inside again without uh, getting over overheated. Uh, maybe we, then we have to go back outside so and we can put those layers back on. So when we think about uh, layering clothing, what do we want to do? Well, we want uh, flexibility. We've got to do a lot of moving, maybe up and down the ladder, so nothing long, <clears throat> too restrictive. Uh, I happen to be using uh, uh, just a few layers today. <clears throat> I've got uh, my t-shirt, my windowcleaningresource.com t-shirt on. Uh, underneath that I have a thermal uh, undershirt, long sleeve. Now there are different products on the market that you could get to, for that same purpose. Uh, there's a product called Under Armour which uh, helps to wick that moisture away from your body. Again, it's a good thing. It keeps you uh, uh, more regulated in your body temperature. So you want to have a good under uh, under shirt there that has uh, thermal insulation, long sleeve. Then uh, of course a t-shirt, a work shirt, a polo, whatever it is that's part of your company uniform. After that uh, I have uh, a just a regular long sleeve sweatshirt. On top of that I've got uh, <coughs> a long sleeve hooded sweatshirt. So the ho hood allows me then to have an extra layer of protection. As you can see I've got my uh, hat I happen to be wearing today a lightweight uh, stocking cap. Again, that allows uh, breathing and lets some of the heat out while trapping some uh, because most of your heat loss, in fact, is going to come through your head. So you want to regulate that. And by having more things that you can put over your head, you can actually trap more heat into your body. So I've got uh, my hat here. I also have a uh, little thing. It's called a gator. It's a multi-purpose hood. Uh, it goes on under underneath my hooded sweatshirt so that it keeps the cold off of my neck but I can also put it up and have an extra layer on top of my head now. If it gets really cold I can bring it up and cover my mouth or I can go up and cover my nose for those really cold days with some drawstring so I can really bring it down and if that's not quite good enough on those days again I've got my hooded sweatshirt I can bring that up for an extra layer now, as I said, my regular uh, stocking cap is just a very thin layer. If you needed to, you could always get a, a bigger layer, uh, a thicker uh, cap there, ski mask, whatever, whatever works for you. But again, the layering allows you to increase the warmth, but also remove those layers a little at a time to keep your body temperature regulated. If you look, I've got what seems to be ordinary work jeans. Uh, but these are anything but ordinary. They're thermal lined. Uh, you can get a flannel lined. You can get a fleece lined. These happen to be uh, thermal lined jeans. They cost a little bit more. But again, that helps me because it keeps, keeps my, my extremities, my legs warm. Uh, since the jeans themselves are thermal lined, I have the option then of when it gets really cold, adding a layer of insulated uh, long johns so that now I've got another layer there. So depending on the temperature I can increase or decrease the amount of clothing I've got without a great deal of difficulty as opposed to like we discussed earlier maybe putting a big pair of coveralls on. So those are some of the things to think about when you think about layering your clothing so that you're nice and warm but at the same time don't get overheated and overexert yourself because as we discussed earlier that could lead to difficulties for you. Uh, of course obviously I'm wearing gloves and boots but we're going to actually talk about gloves and boots and things that you can do to make them warmer in another segment. So, again, this has been Mr. Squeegee, another episode of Weather or Not for you, brought to you by windowcleaningresource.com. Thanks again. Be safe.